Appalachia. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Our intentions are ambiguous. Do not be afraid. So, some of you might remember one of the first quests we got from the Brotherhood of Steel when we arrived at Fort Atlas was Forging Trust. Within this quest, we had to go around the facility to talk with four different people for Night Shin and report back to him over what they had to say. But well, one of those people we had to talk to was this guy right here named Sean Hockman. And here's what he had to say when we try to figure out what the problem is. The problem is that a couple of these Brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. Never understood the Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else maybe, I go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. As you heard, he speaks about how he got robbed from some Brotherhood of Steel members. And when we go to report back to Night Shin over this, here's what he has to say. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. Let's respond by saying, don't you want to find the people who did it? There are countless brigands out there, civilian. It is not the job of the Brotherhood to hunt them down one by one for their crimes. I will say it bothers me to hear that someone is abusing the honor of the Brotherhood this way. But that does not change the facts. Mr. Hockman's problems are his own, not ours. Give me your next report. So yeah, as you heard, he fully believes that it was not any of the actual Brotherhood of Steel members. And he also goes on and mentions how there's countless of other gangs out there, and it's not his job of the Brotherhood to hunt them down one by one for their crimes. Even though it does bother him to hear that someone is abusing the honor of the Brotherhood like that. And there's no changing his mind over this topic here. Here's what he says over the other dialogue option about trying to convince him to help out with this situation. Let's say this time, what matters is he believes it. You should help him out. That sounds like something Paladin Romani would say. But what he believes is of no concern of ours. Our people did not rob this man. We are not involved, and it should remain that way. Give me your next report. So yeah, there's no convincing this guy to help him. However, the crazy thing is we can encounter some people pretending to be the Brotherhood of Steel randomly around the wasteland. Some spots where you can randomly find these guys are over here near the Monica Overlook. Another spot is right over here on the map near the pumpkin house. However, keep in mind that this is a pretty dangerous spot because there's a scorch beast that spawns nearby and it'll randomly attack you sometimes when trying to talk with them. And if it does, it makes it so you can't interact with them again and choose a dialogue option until you discover them again randomly. So yeah, be cautious when looking for them over at this spot. Anyways, another area where you have a potential chance to find them at, and it seemed like this was the most efficient one to find them. Like they spawned over here on the railroad tracks near Welch Station the most, to me, at least from my experience. I will say getting all this footage took forever because they are completely random and can take a while to locate in the game. Like I was server hopping for literally hours. So on that note, if you do find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated and will help get this out there to more Fallout fans to see. As always though, that's totally up to you if you want to support it or not. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get into meeting Barry, Barnaby, and Buck. Starting off here first with Barry. I heard something. Hey you! I think someone's coming. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? We are the Brotherhood of Zeal. Now, we require a donation of five caps to further our immoral clause. So, when approached by the fake Brotherhood of Steel, if Barry is leading the way, he will accidentally slip up and say that they are the Brotherhood of Zeal instead of the Brotherhood of Steel. It's great. This guy had me rolling with some of the things he was saying. Look, why is the sky blue? Ah, uh, guys, I really need to go to the bathroom. You guys know spiders aren't really insects? Yeah, <laughs> pretty sure I read that somewhere. He's definitely the comedic relief out of the group. But yeah, as you can see, here are the dialogue options we get from Barry when we are approached by him. He even gets the caps that we need mixed up. He actually says that they require five instead of 50. Barry, you nitwit, you're supposed to ask for 50 caps. 
But yeah, before we go ahead and just straight up take these guys out, let's go ahead and ask Barry a few questions by choosing this dialogue option that says, um, I have a few questions about this request. Oh, no. No one said anything about questions. Alright, so let's see what he says over these responses. Starting off here with the first one that says, I'm sorry, do you mean the Brotherhood of Steel? Yes, exactly. Steel. We're the Brotherhood of Steel. Wait, what, what did I say? <laughs> okay, so now let's say only five caps. It doesn't seem like enough to further anything. Well, yeah, but it's... Um, hmm. Barry, you nitwit, you're supposed to ask for 50 caps. I am gonna kick your ass when we get back to camp. Please, just give us some caps and we'll go away. Man, their dialogue is great. Now let's say you boys aren't from around here, are you? Uh, we are, uh, um, we are American citizens from America. But yeah, that's all the questions we can ask Barry. Great, can we hurry this up? I really need to go to the bathroom. Anyways, now let's go ahead and see what happens when we choose the option to attack them. And then further in the video, I'll be getting into more of the dialogue options and responses. So stay tuned if you're curious about those. Oh, guys, help! Pincer move! Go, go, go! I don't think pinching them's gonna help! <laughs> Barry's awesome. Damn it, Barry, just shoot. Ah, <laughs> At the end of that fight there, I tried to shoot off Buck's power armor helmet to see what he looked like, but I failed. Although it is possible, as you can see, I did get the helmet off on another try. Apparently this is what he looks like. But yeah, anyways, as for the loot from these guys, you get nothing special. It would have been pretty neat if one of them had something that belonged to Sean Hockman to clarify that it was these guys Sean was talking about. Because at the moment, there is no actual clarification that these are the same guys who robbed Sean. I tried to get to the bottom of it and see if there was any kind of special dialogue option that we could get after encountering them. I literally went straight to Fort Atlas right after I encountered them just to see if Sean, Night Shin, or Paladin Romani had anything special to say over these guys who were pretending to be the Brotherhood. And unfortunately, there wasn't any kind of special dialogue option. But that doesn't mean this random encounter is horrible. Actually, I think it's one of the best and most interactive ones we have in Fallout 76 at the moment. I can tell Bethesda spent a lot of time creating this one with all the dialogue options and responses we can get from these guys. That's why, instead of just wrapping up the video now, I'm going to show you more things that can happen. This will also help save you guys some time for those of you that are curious from hopping servers continuously to try to find these guys to figure out what all is said and happens. I figured jam packing a lot of the dialogue option responses in this one video would be helpful for a lot of players. So yeah, I'm gonna be starting off here with Buck leading the way this time. Citizen, halt! We are the Brotherhood of Steel, and we require a donation of 50 caps to further our noble cause. Okay, so his approach is way different than Barry's. Like, for one, they're not the Brotherhood of Zeal this time around. But yeah, anyways, here's how Buck responds to the questions that we can ask him. Uh, sure. What cause would that be exactly? It's, uh, for the new hospital in Morgantown. I thought you said it was for schools. No, you idiot. It was for feeding the hungry. Will you two shut up? You're making it appear as if we're improvising our answers. Where exactly did you guys come from? You know, uh, from the west. Yeah, with all the, the sun and, you know, the birds. It's real nice over there. You should visit sometime. Right. That sounds legit. Anyways, I assumed the Brotherhood of Steel would be a little more official looking. Well, how about you walk across the desert, or whatever, and see how official you look? We don't have all day. So, that's how Buck responds. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when we approach Barnaby leading the way. Uh, this is, uh, Barnaby's idea. Talk to Barnaby, he's running the show. Citizen, stop right there. In the name of the Brotherhood of Steel, we demand that you surrender 50 caps to our persons immediately. So this guy definitely seems more stern than the others. Let's go ahead and see how he responds to the questions. We don't have all day, piss ant. <laughs> okay, so what cause would that be exactly? To acquire the armaments and miscellaneous paraphernalia required to reclaim this shithole. I 
actually kind of like this place. Yeah, it's not so bad here. <laughs> Quiet, you two. Just let me do the talking. <laughs> Barry's awesome. Anyways, let's ask him now. How did you guys get here? We flew here in a giant magical airship in the sky. How the hell do you think we got here? We walked! Next question. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what division are you guys with? The, uh... 82nd Mountain Division. Super elite. Very exclusive. You don't want to mess with us. 82nd Mountain Division. Super elite and exclusive. Don't mess with us, squad, huh? <laughs> Alright. Let's hurry this up, civilian. Alright, so that's all the questions we can ask them. Now I'm going to show you what's said when we go to attack Buck and Barnaby leading the way. I already showed what happens when we attack Barry. Shit! They're onto us! Get them, boys! Pincer move! Go, go, go! I don't think pinching them's going to help! Damn it, Barry! Just shoot! this pincer move go 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 i don't think pinching them's gonna help damn it barry just shoot so yeah that's all of the attack dialogue and once again nothing special comes from looting them unfortunately now i'm going to show you what's said when we give them the caps wow i can't believe i mean um thank you citizen on your way now thank you Faster! I told you guys it would work. Oh boy, <laughs> looks like we're eating tonight. Thanks again, citizen. Move along. Dumbass. <laughs> you ain't very smart, is ya? Wait, really? I told you guys it would work. Boy, looks like we're eating tonight. Thanks again, citizen. <laughs> wow. Oh, thank you. Oh, boy, looks like we're eating tonight. Oh, Barry, you're a moron. I am going to kick your ass when we get back to camp. So, yeah, that's all the dialogue we get from giving them the caps. And I did figure out you can get your caps right back if you go to take them out once giving them away. As you can see here, I can loot the five caps that I gave Barry. Anyways, now let's go ahead and get into the special dialogue options. Very funny. Hey, I'm not falling for that again. Uh, Buck, I don't think they're kidding. Oh God, Buck, get out of that thing. Wait, what? <laughs> Son of a... They, uh, ran out. Shit. He's not buying it, boys. Cheese it! <laughs> I'm too young to die. You haven't seen the last of us! Yeah, nice try, civilian, but everyone knows the sheep squatch is a bunch of fake bullshit. Barnaby, what do we do? We, uh... Shit! Run for it! Guys, I don't think he's buying it. Barnaby, I'm scared. Hold me. You haven't seen the last of us! Cheese it! So yeah, that's the majority of the dialogue that we can get from the fake Brotherhood of Steel. Now, I know there is a bit more, but for the most part, I covered pretty much everything that they can say. Hopefully you did find this video enjoyable in some kind of way. I'm out of here though, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.